Juliet, you're welcome. Thank you very much, Ernest. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? <laughs> I'm fantastic and very, very glad that uh, we are meeting in the studio of Apex One Radio for the first time. And I'm kind of, uh, I don't know, uh, I'm lack of words, Juliet. Thank you. Thank you. Her name is uh, Juliet Agoa. Juliet Agoa is an actress and uh, she runs uh, a very, very big organization, a uh, humanitarian organization, of course, that has to do with, uh, maybe you talk about it again before uh, we get to talk about lighter stuff. Eh? Okay. So how is... Um, Courage today. Courage today doing? Courage today is doing great. Um, basically, you know, you know, Courage today is a breast cancer organization that addresses the issues of um, cancer in Africa and right. also African women worldwide. Mm -hmm. So um, it's been it's been going great. I right. mean, I, I can't really complain. We just. Um, I think for the most part, what we need most, like I've always said, advocates, um, people to, you know, um, be a part of what we're doing right. and um, getting the support around the world to help a lot of women who are in great need because there's a great need for women in Africa and African women around the world. Right. So courage to there, you know, it's going great. And I know you you you, you travel quite a great deal uh, yes. to that effect. Um, could you just tell us what are some of the trips you've made of uh, of recent uh, as regards uh, what you're doing? Well, um, well, right now, this year, uh, we haven't really, Courage Today hasn't really done a lot of trips, but mm. what we've done is um, a few events. Last year, like you know, we right. did um, a produced a stage um, play mm -hmm. that addresses um, the stories of women, mm -hmm. which, you know, um, had a great turnout. So this year, we're working, October 3rd, we're going to be working on a fashion show, which is Fashion for the Cure. Okay. To actually, this is like a, an awareness and also raising... Um, um, a lot of, uh, well, raising awareness for a lot of women, um, as usual, in Africa, here, and also letting people understand the beauty behind the whole pain, you know, because many a times when people go through this um, um, painful disease or diagnosis, um, a lot of us tend to, you know, mm -hmm. kind of shield ourselves. But with courage to them, with this um, event that is coming up October 3rd, is like a fashion show. Right. And the fashion show is bringing out the beauty of women out there. So uh, women can understand that there's life after the diagnosis of cancer. What is it going to take place? This is going to be in Houston, Texas. Okay. October 3rd. October 3rd. Yes. Okay, we'll definitely talk about that on Apex One uh, Radio. But then, uh, Juliet, your approach seems to be uh, using entertainment to vehicle uh, your message. Um, you did a play, now you're going in for a fashion show. Is there any particular uh, reason for this? Well, if, um, like everybody knows, I'm not really sure if it's the whole world, but I've always had my background in... Um, Acting. I right. actually studied theater arts mm. back in the days. And for me, you know, you, you can only work with something that you are very strong and passionate about. Okay. Acting has always been a part of my life, and I've done that for years. And, you know, when I was diagnosed with cancer, the only way I thought would be very attractive and would actually get you know, the world to understand who I was as a person. And also there's, there's, um, there are other sides mm -hmm. to looking at certain things is being able to take my story, across. Or take my story across right. basically. And, you know, um, turn it around from the painful diagnosis, being able to tell women's stories either on stage mm. or in, in film. Right. Uh, so for me, it's, um, going back into acting, going back into production, but, with a different purpose. You've been on this course for quite some time now. Mm -hmm. uh, what impact has it created um, on other uh, women? And what are they telling you? What has been the feedback? Well, it's been, it's been a, a positive one. You know, with this journey, you can't necessarily say, oh, it's great all the way. There, you have your, your downs and mm. ups, and, of course, um, people move on along the way, they pass on, and some people survive it. Right. So it's a painful, sweet um, story. Mm. But so far, we, you know, we can't give up. The whole idea is not to give up. The whole idea is to keep fighting and standing strong for mm -hmm. a lot of women because the minute you give one woman hope, 
then they stand a chance of trying to fight. Okay. As opposed to not having hope at all. Mm. So that's what Courage Today stands for. The whole idea is to be able to encourage, empower, and give women hope around the world. And um, a lot of women have accompanied you uh, in this uh, genuine cause. Uh, one of whom is uh, actress Melissa Determine, uh, who is in Columbus today for the premiere of her movie, Far. Um, first, uh, could you just remind us how you met this uh, 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 lady who uh, doubles as United Nations ambassador? I was actually honored to work with Melissa back in 2014 on my stage um, play, mm. which I produced with, alongside with um, the great director, Lancelot Odua, and right. uh, the beautiful actresses, Mona Lisa, Stella Damasus, and the whole lot of them. Mm. So Melissa, I mean, I was so honored to have her on stage with me. She is such a powerful actress. And um, it's it's been a great journey. It's been it's been wonderful getting to know Melissa. She's so passionate. I I think for me the fact that she's very passionate about what's going on around the world. I think that was just the attraction there. Mm. And um, she she's just been a, a great advocate all around. Mm. And um, you are in Columbus and. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, looks like you've been here for for for, for, the, uh, for a while. Yeah, I was. Um, well, I came here for a different project entirely. Okay. Then when, when I, um, Melissa called me up and said, "Oh, I'm coming to um, Ohio, Columbus for uh, um, something completely different," I said, "Are you serious? Mm. Uh, what are the odds that you know right. I'm in Ohio and you're coming to Ohio?" So you mm. know what? I'll wait for you. And um, yeah, so. And so uh, you probably joined her this evening in uh, Premier in uh, yes. Far. Yes, yes, yes. I'm here to support her all the way. Hmm. Okay, uh, perhaps uh, you have one last word for women out there, victims of uh, cancer, especially those in, in, in Africa. And um, just how do you think uh, your example can be emulated so that uh, cancer should not be looked upon as the end of the road? rather as a struggle that can be won at the end of the day? Oh, well, the most important thing is that early detection is key. Mm. And uh, the, the earlier we speak up, because that's one of the things that kind of hinders us from um, coming out with our culture and who we are. But the earlier we speak up about this, it makes it a lot easier for the you know professionals, the healthcare professionals who are so passionate about helping to be able to help us. So for the most part, it's... Being um, speaking up, right. early detection is key, and every woman deserves that hope. Mm. We all deserve to have hope that there is life after the diagnosis of cancer, not right. to give up before even fighting. Okay, uh, don't give up even before you start fighting cancer. Uh, message from Juliet Agoa, uh, who runs. Uh, Care. Courage today. Courage today. Yes. Courage today. Uh, take the website again. www. Courage today. dot org. Okay. That's the website. And this year, the great thing about this year and the event we're about to do in October third is that this year marks five years for me as okay. a survivor. So wow. it's huge. Mm, wow, definitely it's going to be a huge, huge one. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Juliet. We're going to find time to come back to all of that. Eh? Thank, thank you, you thank so you much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, that was uh, our surprise yet special guest in this uh, special broadcast on Apex One Radio. Uh, one hour, 30 minutes to the start of uh, the USA premiere of FAR. And so we are about to run off. Breaking news, breaking news, and it's all happening right here in the city of Columbus. Ain't what has broken? A movie premiere. Did you say a movie premiere? Yes, the movie premiere for Far, the much talked about award winning movie with a mixed cast from Cameroon, Nigeria, and the Caribbean islands. Far is conjunctually produced by Age Productions and Cradle Rocks Productions International, with frontline African producer Agbor Gilbert, Matthew Young, and Mercy Atta at the helm. 
Far sees the light of day in Columbus, Ohio on Saturday, August 22nd at a red carpet premiere. Come watch and support Team Far. The venue is 1212 East Dublin Grandview, Columbus, Ohio, 43229. Again, it's 1212 East Dublin Grandview, Columbus, Ohio, 43229. The red carpet begins at 7 p.m. and the event proper kicks off at 8. Also, come meet and talk with international actress Melissa Determine, starring in the Dublin Nigerian Entertainment Awards nominated for alongside Nollywood's Jim Ike and Dakure Egerson. Far, a movie that has come from afar to secure its place in the African film industry. You are welcome to come and support this production. Far, the, the must-watch watch African, African movie. movie.